So as a first time mom, I have been very interested in all things baby. And so I did some research on baby eye development and when the baby's eyes start developing in utero and what that process looks like. So we're gonna go through that because I think it's kind of cool. So baby's eyes start developing as early as about four weeks in utero. This is when the neural tube starts to form. And so what happens is these two cup-like structures form on either side of the head and those little cups connect back to a brain stem. So those actually will end up being the optic nerves that connect the eye to the brain. At week seven of pregnancy is when a lot of structures begin to form, the cornea, the iris, and the retina. At week eight, the tear ducts start forming, but what's interesting here is that they start as early as week eight, but they don't finish forming until the baby is born. At 10 weeks, the eyelids start forming, but they're actually fused shut. And the reason for this is to keep all those sensitive structures that are forming behind the eyelids safe and protected. At around 12 weeks is when the specialized cells in your retina start to develop. So the rods and the cones, which are responsible for motion detection, contrast, and color, they start forming as early as 12 weeks. By 32 weeks, babies can actually fully blink their eyes and they can start to actually detect those different levels in light and see dim shapes. So if you shine a light at your belly, the baby can actually see and detect that difference in light level. At 34 weeks, babies can see their first color, which is red. That's the most prominent color that they see for a while when they're born. And so this is why when you see like a newborn book, they're usually just black and white with maybe be some red because that's really all the baby can see when they're first born. And then at 37 weeks, baby's eyes are essentially as developed as they would be if they went full term all the way to 40 weeks. So at 37 weeks, they can focus about 10 inches away from their face. And this is important for mother baby bonding because when you feed your baby, they're typically very close to you. You can look right into their face. So some things that you can do that would directly impact your baby's eye development. A big one is do not change any cat litter. Bacteria that's in the cat's fecal matter can cause specific eye diseases that can actually impact both mother and baby eye development. And something else that people don't often think about is with any of our skincare treatments and acne medications, there are quite a few of those that can really be toxic or dangerous to baby eye development too. Things that you can do that are good for yourself are introduce more vitamin A and beta carotene into your diet, vegetables, lots of fruits. So reviewing all of those with your OBGYN, like any medications that you're on, on vitamins you've been taking is really essential and crucial to ensuring that your baby develops the way that it's supposed to. If you have any questions about anything or want to know more about what happens once the baby is born, just give me a comment down below.